Hi, I'm Bernhard Frank, and I'm working as a custom engineer here at Microsoft in the Fast Track team, helping customers on Azure Stack HCI. And today I'm going to install Azure Stack HCI on my physical hardware. So let's have a look at my hardware that we are going to use for our Azure Stack HCI. So first of all, uh, we get the operating system disk, which is here. And then we get some other disks plugged into um, dedicated for the storage use later on. Um, make sure that you have the same setup on both servers. So I cons this consists of a bunch of SSDs or um, one SSD on each server and uh, four HDDs in every node. Okay, so now let's have a look at the back and, and do some cabling. So these are the iDRAC ports, the base management board controller ports uh, for remoting, and I'm going to plug them in into my one gigabit switch. Then uh, we have some 10 gigabit ports, which are dedicated for storage use, which are my Mellanox cards. And I use these direct attached copper cable stack cables uh, for connecting these. Um, they are relatively cheap and uh, friction free. And what I'll do, I'll cross cable these. So that means I don't have any switch in between. I just plug one port of node one to the same port of node number two. And in Hyper-V or on, on the Azure Stack HCI node, on the operating system, there will be no set switch in between. These two ports will be dedicated to the storage. And these two are the one gigabit ports uh, that I'm going to use for my management traffic. Um, and for redundancy, I'll create a set, set switch on these, so to speak, uh, that Hyper-V uh, will get a virtual or the HCI will get a virtual card uh, created from both of these. So if either one of the physical card fails, I still have the other, uh, the other option or the other, the other channel. Finally, we do have some ports, 10 gigabit ports left, which are then used for the virtual machines. Um, and as these virtual machines will talk to the outside world, I need some switching infrastructure for doing that. And here's my 10 gigabit switch, um, which I'm going to use for plugging in these QLogic cards to the, um, to the 10 gigabit switch. So once the cabling is done, I'll do the installation using a USB drive, um, which I have prepared with the Etherstack HCI operating system. And uh, in the next video, we'll have a look at how the setup process looks like. <music>